I rated this high-end SaaS promotional video for ChatGPT. Can you see how professional this looks? Let me show you exactly how you can do that as well. We're going to start off with creating a dot in the center of the screen using the ellipse tool. It is going to be a black dot. Let's rename that shape layer to dot so that we know which one it is. And let's make sure that it is centered. So I'm just going to align it centrally, okay? After that, I'm going to introduce the scale keyframes. So at first, it's going to be 80% of scale. Later down the road, around the 30th frame, it's going to be 70%. Now, same goes for opacity. Those keyframes are going to be a bit closer to each other, but it's going to go from 0 to 100% opacity. Let's easy ease those keyframes so that it looks cool. Okay, great. Now, let's move on to adding the text layer, which is going to say, what can I help you with? That text layer, we need to make it a bit smaller. I reckon around 440 in scale is going to do the job. Let's just check this out. 440. Okay, and now let's also make sure that it is aligned centrally. Now we're going to animate the opacity and the position of that text. And so basically using Rain Selector 1, we're going to enable keyframing right now for opacity. Then let's expand Rain Selector 1 and let's adjust the offset here. So basically we're going to need to step by step adjust the keyframes of the offset. So at first, Let's move those keyframes out here. At first, it's going to be zero, then it's going to move out to 100. So that's going to create this sort of movement. Let's do it word by word. So it's going to be what I can. Okay, boom, next keyframe. And then the word help, stop right here, create another keyframe point, and then you, and then with. Okay, and then we have the question mark at the end. If I play this back, it's just going to be as though it every sort of word was being typed in separately. What can I help you with? Just a chat, as ChatGPT does it. When ChatGPT generates an answer for you, it is a bit of a jittery typing effect, as though every word was being thought over. So this is exactly the effect we created right here. And then we also need to make sure that that dot is aligned movement-wise with each new word. So it needs to move out to the right from the left. Let's see if that movement is aligned. Adjust it using the position keyframes. And now here at the end, we need to animate those keyframes manually. So we need to change the position a bit, just as though chat GPT was generating. So we can also adjust the position keyframes right here of the text itself. Let's move the text to the left while the dot will be moving to the right so that we keep it centered in the center of the screen, right? Now let's make sure that all of those keyframes are aligned with each word so that you know the dot covers up each beginning of new word. Now let's make sure those keyframes are easy ease and take a look at this. Nice. Okay, let's move it out. Great, so now we have this animation in place where the dot is moving along with the text. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the position and scale. Let's create two keyframes right here. And the dot is gonna move back to the center and it's gonna scale up greatly. So this sort of movement, let's move out the scale keyframe a bit. Boom. It's just going to move back to the left and scale up. Now in that place, we're going to add the chat GPG logo in a sec. But first we need to ensure that the text which says, what can I help you with, you know, gets down to zero opacity before the circle scales up. Quick reminder for you guys, you can grab this After Effects project file simply by subscribing to my newsletter. Check out the instructions in the pinned comment down below. Now it's time for the chat GPT logo. Let's adjust the fill. Let's make sure that it is white. And we also need to make sure that it is centered. So it needs to be centrally aligned with our circle right here. Let's make sure it is. Let's adjust the scale and position factor. Now we somehow need to, you know, create an animation. Let's link it with the dot. Okay, so that it is linked. And then we somehow need to make sure that the chat GPT logo shows up in a way that's pleasant for the eye so that it just doesn't pop up so we so what we're going to do is we're just going to introduce an opacity change and a rotation change so we're just going to create keyframes at first it's going to be zero opacity to 100 and then we're also going to add some rotation and basically at first it's going to be rotated to minus 49 and then zero and it's just going to create a nice opacity change with a bit of a rotation let's easy ease those keyframes and now it's time for the mouse pointer so i'll just introduce this mouse pointer right here this little icon let's set the scale to six it does not need to be big now what we need to do is we need to animate the position of that mouse pointer so we need to make sure that it you know moves 
from the bottom of the screen all the way up to the ChatGPT logo. But we don't want that movement to be, to be linear. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a path along them, along which the mouse is going to move. So basically, let's adjust those pinpoints on the mouse right here. This is going to create a really nice path so that the mouse is going to move left, right, really smoothly instead of being linear. Okay. Afterwards, there's going to be this click effect. So it's using scale, bam, it clicks. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new camera, a 35 millimeter two node camera. You're going to switch the view mode to classic 3D. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to introduce a null object. We're going to call the camera handle and we're going to link it with the camera right here. Now we're going to create this really quick zoom in effect into the center of the chat GPT logo with that null. And now we're going to open up a Figma, you know, with Figma, you can actually select all of the objects. You know, you need to find the chat GPT UI in Figma first, but then using the plugin called AEUX, you can basically copy the UI of anything and paste it into After Effects. Now, thanks to the fact that we introduced this from Figma, everything is as a separate vector, right? So we can introduce keyframes for every object separately. Thanks to that, I'm able to introduce this kind of scale up effect, or we can call it the bounce in effect, thanks to the bouncer plugin right here. And everything can be introduced with a nice opacity change and a bit of a scale up effect. So the buttons attach, search, and reason can be introduced thanks to the opacity change. Then the rest of the UI can be animated thanks to the bouncer plugin. Okay. What can I help you with? Bam, zoom in. And then we've got one more thing we need to remember about is we've got the sign in and the chat GPT logo in the left corner. The login and sign up will be animated thanks to this nice slide in from the right. And then the chat GPT logo can be done with a slide in from the left. Now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a bit of fast box blur. So move it out, move those keyframes in. So the first keyframe is going to be zero. The middle one is going to be heavily blurred. And now once we already transition into the next thing, it's going to be zero again. Now we're going to extend the camera handle. Okay. We're going to bring it up and we're going to link it to the cap to the camera we just introduced. And what we're going to do now is we're going to introduce a bit of a zoom out so they can view the UI from a bit further away. We need to ensure those keyframes are super smooth. So let's adjust those. Let's easy ease them. And let's make sure with the speed graph, which we're going to open in a sec, that it's really smooth. Okay. And now that we've got those keyframes adjusted so that they are smooth, we're going to move on to the next section of this composition. So we're going to transition using some camera keyframes. And what we need to do is we're going to need to introduce just the ask anything section, nothing else. Just copy this from Figma and paste it in. Let's move those objects out later on in the sequence, just as we move on to the next section of this composition, sorry. And then let's move up the box right here, the search box with all of its objects. Let's zoom in heavily into it and let's adjust the search sequence now so that we've got it strictly centered onto the word, on, basically centered onto the word search. Okay. Now we're going to need to introduce a bit of a transition. So I'm going to, I'm going to maneuver the positions, keyframes of the camera below and the null we've introduced called search sequence. Okay. Then I'm going to introduce another null. It's called drag. Okay. And that null is going to be linked to the search sequence. And basically next step, we're going to introduce text and we're just going to type in for example, high income skills in 2026, right? And we're going to adjust the text animation. So we're just going to introduce typewriter effect, just like this. And we're going to ensure that the drag null is linked with the null below that is responsible for the camera movement so that the camera moves along the text. So we're just, we're just going to introduce a bunch of keyframes right here. And then once it is typed in, we just need to copy the arrow right here from Figma. And let me just copy it from Figma and let me paste it in right here. We need to make it a 3D object so that it sticks. And then we need to move it below. Let's adjust its position and let's make sure that it gets clicked. So we're going to introduce an animation of scaling down and up back again as though it's getting clicked. Okay. It gets clicked. And then later on, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce another camera. 
and we're going to make sure to heavily move up, okay, as though we're moving on to the next sequence, okay, is just going to be a bunch of text that AI could have given us in response. So this is just going to be a bunch of text along with some camera movement. And we're also going to use a bit of a typewriter effect on all of that text as though chat GPT was genuinely cooking out text. So the camera moves up and the, the, then the text starts showing up, typing in really nicely. Okay, boom, animate the text using the slider control. Let's maybe adjust its position and scale. Nice. And this is exactly how you create these kind of SaaS promotional videos. Smash that like button if you want more tutorials like this and make sure to check out this video if it seems valuable or interesting to you.